Hey everyone! So I recently made an order on townbeauty.com and so I thought I'd share with you what I got. So in case you aren't aware, if you um, order online, well actually you can only order online with Tan Beauty, but anyway, when you order online with townbeauty.com, here in the UK it's free shipping for anything £30 or more. So I always make an order of £30 so I can get the free shipping and this time round they were doing their mystery gift package so I managed to get that as well so I'll share that after I share the products I paid for. So the products I actually paid for myself, they were all by the actual brand Makeup Revolution because there's a few brands you can get on this website. So yeah, I went for all Makeup Revolution products so instead of saying, you know, this is Makeup Revolution so on and so forth, I'll just say now everything I got was Makeup Revolution. So the first thing, and one of the main reasons, or these two first two products is the main reason I've done this order, is the Flawless 3 Re is it Resurrection? Yes, Resurrection palette. So they do uh, a line of flawless palettes, or like palettes with flawless in the name. They're all 32 eyeshadow, they are all 32 eyeshadow palettes, and um, they basically have, uh, well, there's a couple that are just matte, so they're the flawless mattes one and two, and then all the rest have a mix of matte and shimmer. So yeah, this one is the flawless three, and it's got the sort of pinkish packaging with the shimmeriness to it. It's 32 professional eyeshadows, ultra professional, there's a couple of other languages that I cannot read there, and then it's got shades on the back there as well and then open it up and this one is with the rose gold there's my iPad but this one is the rose gold packaging that um, reflects so I'll try not to blind you but um, see this rose gold one that reflect is sort of like more mirrored because the previous palettes um, all just had like the uh, standard black packaging so you've got flawless tree resurrection on the back and then I'll open it up. I always struggle with this one. I've had this palette for, well, I got this, made this order like about a week ago, and so I've already opened them up and had a look inside. You can always get a massive mirror, full size of the palette with these, and I'll just put that there so we don't blind you as much. You always get the film with their names on, and those are the colours there. So it's a mix. Well, very sort of autumnal shades, sort of got your reds and oranges and some golds, and then mostly sort of neutrals around the edges. And I've actually uh, tried this palette on today, it's what I've got on my eyes at the moment, and it's actually the first time I've tried this palette. So, yes, I'm very pleased with my eye look. If you want a, a tutorial on this look, then just leave that in the comments below, and I shall sh 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 certainly get on to it. And then the second product I got was the Flawless 4 palette and this one has recently launched this month so it's very new and so sort of, it's the orange shimmery packaging and then this one open it, is more of it's rose gold packaging again uh, or lid but this one's sort of more matte in a way or it's just not reflective as much basically it's not really a mirror effect and then the floor is full on the back and then open oh yep this one is a lot easier to open so film inside again and i'll just mirror once again and put the lid over there so you're not blinded and once again oh, gorgeous shades this one has I'd say a better selection of shimmers on my first look of it all because the Flawless 3 doesn't have as many I've noticed but this one has a lot more shimmers in it two rows of matte in the middle there and it's just gorgeous perfect for this time of year sort of turning of the leaves autumn type looks and I can't wait to dip in my brush As I said yeah I haven't actually tried this palette yet I've only tried out the Flawless 3 for the first time today so as I said, I only, when I make a time beauty order, I only want to be spending around about £30. So to those two palettes um, each cost £8, so, so I didn't really need much more to reach the £30 mark, so I only actually got three more items in this order. So the first one is, because they bought out, must have been at least a good few months ago, I think it's more like in the spring, they bought out some new, a new range of lipsticks and they're the Renaissance lipsticks, I think they're called. 
and so I just got one of them just to try out the formula uh, and decided to go for the shade Renew because it's sort of a nice very neutral shade just sort of there so yeah, it's kind of wait to try it out but yeah, so, so yeah, it's sort of like the rose gold packaging one thing I would say on a first impression is that it doesn't actually click into place so if this was in your bag then there's a possibility of the lid sort of sliding off but yeah so it's just sort of rose gold and then it says makeup revolution there and then it's sort of got more uh, what do you call it like ridged type packaging there and then the name on the bottom and revolution on the top of the lid there so yes can't wait to try that out on my lips and then also in the last few months they brought out a line of lip kits so with this you get a lip liner and a liquid lipstick and once again I haven't actually tried these out yet but I went with the shade uh, Rain and that's the sticker there so I went with the shade Rain because I thought it's a nice sort of neutral colour I just wanted to try out the formula um, so this one is in the matte range because they've got a few different finishes like matte um, and gloss and other stuff. So yes, I wanted to try the matte ones just to try out the formula if they see how good they are. So this is the lip liner, so it's just got revolution side and the colour on there and a sticker with the name, so it's called Rain. Um, oh God. One thing I have found with these, I haven't actually tried them on lips or anything, I just got them out of the packaging once and yeah, the lid is very sort of secure, let's put it that way. Um, so just, uh, yeah, just quickly back of my hand and this very soft and creamy these lip liners I must say and um, so that's the colour there sort of more orange it's coming up more orange on my on the back of my hand I'm not quite sure with these um, if they need to be sharpened and if so how to I assume you should use a regular sharpener but yeah if you know anything about sharpening lip liners because I've never actually done it before myself I prefer the retract retractable ones so if you know anything about that please leave that in the comments below and help me out because I'd be very grateful and this is the liquid lipstick and so it says Makeup Revolution there um, and that's upside down yeah so revolution there and it's got the rose gold lid and then sort of doe foot applicator and then I'll just swatch that okay so yeah that's more true to colour than what's in the tube there so yes as I said I look forward to uh, trying these out um, I may do a review wear test type video and then the last thing I got, because um, I wanted to try something new, something different, and they recently brought this out. Well, they've currently got three uh, different shades. Uh, basically this, uh, sorry, I'll say what it is. So this is a setting powder. I mean, it says a baking powder. So yeah, this is just a loose powder. And they've actually got um, three shades. Uh, there's lace, I think, terracotta, and something else. Basically, uh, this is the lightest shade, because as you can see, I'm rather pale and it's just sort of you got screw top lid with a stopper there one thing I would because I actually uh, tried this for the first time today I've actually got it on it's really nice it sets my makeup really well and you know locks it all in well I don't know about wear test but first impressions of putting on my face it set my face quite nicely one thing I would say though is application is a bit of a bummer because um, I said when you screw this off and take the lid off it can sort of <laughs> explode everywhere and same when you try to apply it because I used a big fluffy brush to apply it on my face so I may have to try a different brush so um, once again if you've tried out sort of loose powders to set your makeup and you could recommend a brush for me that would be awesome so if you could leave that in the comments and so the last thing I got uh, well I never actually paid for it as I said it was a free gift from Tan Beauty because spent £30 pounds or more. Uh, so I got. Oh, lighting is. Oh, there we go. I think it's. That's. Whoa, that's changing the lighting there. Okay, didn't expect that. So yeah, I always uh, get a bit too excited to feel like Christmas and I want to unwrap my presents and see what's inside. So yeah, I have actually already opened it up and seen what I've got, but I'm still going to share a review as if, you know. Well, I want to share with you what I got. So just open that. Ah. So the first thing, just pull them out, we have is, uh, and also, ooh, just put myself in the eye, 
Uh, this bag is a mix of all the brands that are on Tan Beauty, so they're not all Makeup Revolution, so I'll tell you what they're from. So the first thing is by Makeup Revolution, and it's the One Blush Stick. So basically it's, um, and this is in the shade Matte Dream, so yeah. I haven't actually tried any of these stick type products, so yeah, it's a nice pinkish shade. I'd actually say this is probably um, going to be quite nice match for me to be honest. Once again, I've never used these and I'm not quite sure how, I mean I assume you just put it on, like straight on, but um, my thought is wouldn't it just like smear the foundation? So yeah, if you have any advice on how to use these stick type products, please let me know. Because looking at it also it would be a nice lip colour, so maybe use a lip brush to apply that on the lips, but apart from that I'm not sure how to go about using this. So yes, I would be very grateful for some advice on that. Then the next product is this one's by uh, 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 I Heart Makeup and it is their I Am Flawless foundation range. I'm not sure. Yeah, the uh, this doesn't have like a name for the shade, it's just FL03. So yeah, I haven't actually tried it yet or anything like that. So I'll just grab a little bit. And looking at it, could be an okay shade. So yeah, I could possibly do a wear test on this and review if you would like. Blend it on my hand there. I mean, my first impressions is very sort of liquidy in a way, sort of, yeah, it's very runny type uh, consistency. The colour match is... looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like they, you know, know who they're sending these to with these gift bags. Once again, yeah, I said uh, we'll have to give it a go. Then the next product is also by Makeup Revolution, and it is one of their single eyeshadows in the shade, and the shade is Adore More, More, or Moi? Not too sure. Um, but yeah, it just looks like it's a nice sort of neutral brown. I've, yeah, it's a matte finish. Swatch it there. Um, no, it is. Although it's coming off a little bit shiny. Maybe it's just the lighting. And then the next product is, this is by Makeup Revolution, and it's the One Concealer. I've never actually tried these out, and this is in the shade uh, Light. Uh, this has got some packaging on it, so I'll just take that off. Okay, so yes, this, if you could see it with this lighting, so it's got um, what looks like a sort of wax on the outside and then the concealer colour in the middle. Let's see if we can swatch it. Okay, so it's, yeah, as it says, it's very light shade there. Quite sort of a creamy consistency, I imagine, because that's the wax. So um, yeah, I'll have to give that a go, see what I can do with that. Then the next things I got were, and these are by Our Heart Makeup again, and they are nail polishes. And so it says, love, or heart, nail geek. Quite nice shades, the greenish one, do they have names? Yes. So this green one is Peppermint 06, and it's a beautiful sort of bluish green. And then the purple one is called Extravagance Yes, Extravagance 45, um, so yeah, this one I'm really, well both of them looking forward to trying out, but this one here is more of a sort of spring shade I'd say, and then but yeah, I'll definitely try this one out over the winter um, and share my thoughts on that. Then the next product is by Makeup Revolution once again, and it is the Welcome to the Pleasure Dome eyeshadow palette. And interesting fact, this is actually the first palette I ever actually bought from Makeup Revolution. So this started my revaholic addiction, shall we say. <laughs> yes, um, I'll just quickly open it up and show you inside. So it's part of their Salvation palette range. They've got a whole range of palettes. Ooh. And it comes with a film lid again, massive mirror, and then those are the shades. Beautiful selection because you've got all your neutrals and then some pops of colour as well and a row of mattes. But yeah, I loved this palette when I first got it. I still like it now, but as I've said in a previous video, my, well, my previous video to this one, most of my makeup is still up in hole where I was for uni. And so that palette, uh, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome one, is actually up there along with all my other ones. And the last product I got in the little mystery gift bag 
was inspired, this one, this palette here, and it's by Freedom Makeup, and it is the Freedom Pro Decadence palette. 20 professional eyeshadows, mixture of matte, pearl, and shimmer. And then it says on the front, Pro Decadence clubbed to death. I've now just realised when I first read that, I thought clubbed as in, you know, whacked on their head, but it's clubbed as in, because it's got the headphones there, clubbed as in, you know, you go to a club, but then you would die at that club, that's, so that's still quite uh, depressing. So yeah, it's got a sleeve over the top there, and then got the inside box, and then, uh, let's see if I can get it open to have a look at the palette inside. It comes with a clear film to protect the mirror but there's no shade names so I'm just going to show you the selection. So it's a beautiful range of colours. So the, I believe, uh, there's only a few shimmers in this. Most of them are matte but yeah there's a quite a nice range of bright colours in there. Once again I've never actually tried the Freedom range of eyeshadows. That, uh, I'm not sure if they've got a different formula to the Makeup Revolution or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'll definitely have to uh, give this a go and let you know what I think. So that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like me to do talk any further on any of the products that I've shared in this video, or any future videos you would like me to do then please just let me know and also some advice I've asked for throughout the video just feel free to leave a comment or contact me through Facebook or anything like that I always leave the link down below so yes I am going to go now so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time